What's going on? We're back. Um, don't have anybody to film on the camera today, so this is all on the phone. So if the quality's a bit shit, audio's a bit shit, um, yeah, just a bit hard to set up the camera and try film everything and make it all work. But rip straight into the shorty. Um, last night, well, yesterday, last night, got heaps done, as you can see behind me. Starting to cut some stuff out of the roof. Um, moving around, just having a look at how bad the rust really is in it. Got a little bit, whoop, down in this chassis rail. But again, all treatable stuff. I've also hooked in and got this guard done. So yeah, down through here, there's an indicator hole. And looking at that guard, can't even really tell there was ever a hole there. So pretty stoked with that, keeping the aerial mount. I did think about shaving that, but nah, overall I'm pretty stoked with that. Thought it'd come up all right. Now, one of the worst spots of rust was on this inner skin. You can see it's right through, so I'm gonna have to cut this whole inner skin out right through there. Remake that, remake this piece, and probably cut the gutters off the whole way along because we're going tube gutters very shortly. But overall, starting to look like a patrol. So I'll throw a few clips in now of me ripping this roof apart, cutting into it, showing you all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, she's coming together. <laughs> Another little update, which I've been meaning to show you guys is under the bonnet of this thing. Been doing a fair bit of work. Um, there'll be a few before and after pics, which I'll throw in up here somewhere. And um, yeah, I'll run you through what's going on under here. So under here, very basic setup. Blacktop TD, HT18, 11 mil pump, all out of GU. It's got HPD cooler, which is sick. Um, battery sitting on the piss at the moment. The boys over at Frenchies Fabrications are making me a custom battery tray, which is gonna weld into that factory one and i've got to reskin the inside of this as well so i've still got a little bit of rust repair to do but once i sheet that and throw some bed liner in it you will never know they also had a dirty old water temp sensor adapter that sat in there Fuck that off uh this heater hose here it had like a copper pipe that sat in the middle of it just looked like shit. Well, i can completely understand track fixes but yeah fix it when you get home so done all that heater works all sweet um, tidied up a heap of wiring sort of all along the back still not over the moon with it but it'll do for now otherwise yeah moving over this side j race manifold which is really sick uh egt tapped into the complete wrong spot love that i'm actually gonna pull that out but i uh, and this this gammon little boost tee so yeah there's plenty of things i need to fix under here but for now it runs it drives i can move it in and out of the shed and it'll keep me out of trouble oh and this water temp sensor it's a bit black as well, but she's sweet. But if you want to stay a little bit more up to date with what I've got going on on the shorty, um, Instagram's definitely your best bet. I post so much stuff on there. At Alex Jackson, you'll see that pop up. Go over, check it out. I'm always posting heaps of stuff about it, but yeah, YouTube, I'm just super flat doing this, so I'm always finding time to, well, finding it hard to find time to make videos and I don't have a cameraman and I've got to do it all myself. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.